Hi, I'm Josie Quick, and this is my video series, How to Play Blues Fiddle. In this series, I'm going to be playing some blues tunes, I'm going to be taking some solos, and I'm going to be playing backup. And I'm going to show you how to do all of those things. So, first tune we're going to do is Backo Town Blues. I'm going to start by playing the melody, and then I'm going to take a solo, and then I'm going to play the melody again. Uh, I'm going to dress it up a little bit, but not not uh, I'm not going to go too too nuts with it so that you can play along. At the end, I'll be sharing some of my favorite tricks and tips and how I use them in the solo. All right, so let's get started. <laughs> So I started this tune with just simply playing the blues scale. That's a, a little trick I like to do, kind of establish it in my fingers and in my brain. So I'm just playing it, I'm syncopating it in order to make it sound a little more interesting. <laughs> And then a trill, but between a first finger and a third finger. So not adjoining, adjacent notes rather, not adjacent notes, but I'm skipping one. So in this case, it's between the first and the third of the blues scale, but you can do it pretty much anywhere. And so I'm doing that trill, but I'm also doing ponticello, which is letting my bow get close to the bridge. Kind of gives the acoustic violin a feedback almost kind of sound. Um, I'm using a lot of slides. You can do them slow or you can do fast. So uh, doing that, I also like to do uh, alternating a fourth finger with an open E and then I like slide to my fourth finger and I get So got that. I also have tremolo. Tremolo is a fun one. And I'm just playing with my bow as fast as I can. Uh, a lot of times I'll go way up the scale. This time I went down. And then one of my favorite things is a repeating phrase. Uh, in this one I used a really common blues lick, which is going from the flat five to the five to the seven. So I'm going one, two, three, and I'm bowing it down, up, and I'm repeating it over again. And what gives it that fun sound is it's a three note pattern, but I'm playing it 
over four beats. So the and the and I'm playing it in eighth notes, which means that we're dividing the beat in twos, but it's a three note pattern. So you get, let's see if I can count and play at the same time. Always a hard thing for me to do. One and two and three and four and one. So there you see one and two and three and four and one. See, I can't bow and talk at the same time. Anyway, I think you get what I'm talking about. And then using double stops. So those are my some of my favorite little things to do. You try using those in your solos, and uh, I'm sure that you'll you'll it'll give you some good ideas. All right, so have fun. If you'd like access to all these videos plus PDFs and backing tracks, please go to www.josiequick.com for more information.